Hello, hello, it's Wessel here, and thanks for joining me as I continue on my adventures in SnowRunner on hard mode. Today we're up to day four here in Yukon in the flooded foothills, and we're uh, we're going to continue on in the White Western Star, trying to do a few more deliveries and knocking over these tasks as we find them. So let's get stuck into it. Um, first things first, we're going to want to just bring that Kodiak a bit further forward so that it doesn't get stuck on the get stuck on the building as we go. So we'll bring him right up to there, something like that. And try and get past it without smashing into it too badly. That we're even, even dragging along without even uh, having winched it yet. Right. So I think if we can attach the winch something like that, it's very close, but that should be okay. Alright, I'm going to bring the, the Kodiak back over to the railway station where it's a bit more central and accessible to everybody. There's a real shortage of repair parts. <coughs> We've got a few things we need to repair and we don't have many repair parts to do it with. There is a, uh, an entry point just to the left here where there's a, a cyclone fence, a, a wire fence, but um, it's a bit hard to, to navigate, so we might I'll just try and come this way. I'm hoping that that's going to be... Oh, no hope. No hope. Not even close. Not even close. This is where it all just gets a little bit trickier. So I'm going to go and drop my trailer off first and then come back. What I meant to do was that. All my other things were wrong. Okay. A little bit of a nasty turn with trees and Sorry, tree stumps and telegraph poles and concrete slabs. Just oh, you're kidding me. Alright, fine. We'll just bring this guy in and we'll pull him up here in the in the loading bay. Because we will load up shortly. show you the sneaky cyclone fence. It's just here where that picnic table is. So we can happily knock that down and come through that way. it is I'll probably still take it back around the long way. Uh, where are we? <coughs> okay. So I probably want to connect the rear of it 
the rear of the truck. Yes. Choices, choices, choices. There's always some sort of choices. I'm gonna actually now take it back the way I just came. You know, in through the little wire fence. Toe point on the trailer. Uh, that's a bit old, probably the one that's even closer. That one. Yes. I can tell because it's saying turn on engine of winch truck. So I know I've got the truck. that I came through here. Just took a bit of a wide turn. Lovely. Alright, we'll pull the trailer up here so I put Cody Ang up over here so he's out of the way. Pretty good, we're going to need to come back and fix him. Meanwhile, I think we're going to start the first of the, uh, the first of the contracts. I think it's a contract. just in case. It's always good to put the, the trailer arm out before you get to your own trailer, especially if you can't remember which side it's meant to be on. Because here, okay let me show you what I'm going to do. We're doing the first of the gold horse mining contracts which is cargo crafting. Cargo crafting needs us to deliver a cabin to the hangar. The hangar's pretty much close to where we are. Now, to deliver a cabin, first of all, we have to make a cabin. And you make a cabin... Oh, that's a lot further back than I thought. Um, you make a cabin by combining a... Uh, a cargo con container... with some wooden planks. So we've got our wooden planks. I'm just going to load on the cargo container. Spin it around ourselves. Oops, too far. cargo container and two wood planks, which is precisely what we're going to need to craft a cabin. So now we just need to find the cabin crafting area, which fortunately is not too far away. So very quickly we're going to head along here, probably try and grab that upgrade either on the way there or more likely on the way back and head to our Kevin construction site over here. So that's just a little run that we should be able to do. And I'm going to do it via the train line. Now, 
you've got to be a bit careful on the train line because you can um, you can find if there's like they here where there's quite a drop off between the train line and the um, and the side if you get yourself at the wrong angle there you will tip over so we're going to come along here and then be careful when we get up onto the train line see this see the angle we're already on nasty so i'm going to do a safety winch just in case try and square myself up on the train line a bit more some trucks sit perfectly on the tracks they're, they're exactly the right width unfortunately the white western star isn't one of those now you can see we've come the other way so I'm about to hop off the train line so I think I'll be okay you can see this is quite precarious however we're off it does take a, a nasty water crossing uh, out of the out of the way that will be a tree stump that I've run into oh no it wasn't a tree stump it will be the back of the trailer getting caught so this can happen and what it is see the you can see the trailer has like a a bar at the back of it pretty annoying so I'm going to try and bring the trailer around so it's at an angle see how we go yep we made it yeah so that is the drawback of any of these semi trailers that they have that uh, bar at the back There's a little, a little thing. Great. Okay. Well, this is the uh, cabin crafting area. First of all, we're going to, and now you see here, I can, I can both deliver, craft, and load. So I'm going to deliver two wooden planks and a cargo container. I can then craft a cargo can a, a cabin and I can then load that cabin onto the loading platform pretty cool eh now I'm not going to load it just yet I'll load it in a minute because I'm, I'm I'm distracted by uh, by this other little thing over here so this guy uh -huh. <coughs> this is a uh, obviously a forklift and it lets you pick things up. So we've got a task here of manual unloading practice. So I'll execute that and in fact I'll even, I'll even do it. So what this is, is I, I need to practice and it does take a bit of practice. Um, I need to get this guy and put him on that loading spot there. Now, I'm going to, just for the moment, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, oop, I'm going to put the crane navigation legend on. So now that that's on, now when I do my forklift fast mode, you'll be able to see down in the bottom corner the controls for how to, to manoeuvre the forklift. You know what I mean. So we can lower it, raise it, um, push it out, pull it back, and tilt it down or tilt it up. They can do all those good things. So let's start by going down to the ground. Now I am 
probably one of the world's worst forklift dudes. <laughs> no. Yeah. So you got to try and get the problems in the right place, Ugh, which I now haven't. is a bit easier said than done. So I think they're too high. Yeah. So we'll lower them. I'm just trying to get them to get in the right spot. Are they too low now? Maybe they are. So as you can see, this is probably not a great uh, int <laughs> introduction for how you're meant to be doing this. So we will get there. I'm going to persist until I get there. I'm going to persist in pushing it. able to do this before but clearly not today. We'll get there, make it work, make it. Ha ha! We got it. <laughs> World's worst uh, effort? Who knows? Now, tilt. No, other way. Right, that's it. That's it. See, I'm tilting it, and then I'm going to lift it. So now at least I'm confident it's not going to fall off too badly. Bring it back to me. Raise it. That'll be the other raise. Okay. Hooray! Now, carefully, drive to the spot. At a ridiculous angle, I know, but I don't mind. Alright, I now have it in the right spot, I think. So now I can lower it. Tilt it. Maybe even bring it backwards a little bit. That's better. And then lower it. Right. Take the tilt off. That's not bad. Oh, I like the way we're off the ground now. Cargo management. Deliver that fuel. Ha 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 There we go. Great job. Now you can unload cargo manually. Yeah, well, I could. But I can't see that I'll be doing that very often. Fine. So we've done that task. <laughs> it's a stupid task. Um, so I could use that. I could use the little cargo loady dude to put the um, cabin onto my truck. However, in about a tenth of the time, I can probably use my own crane and do the job just as well. So a cute idea, but not something that I would be doing in this game very much at all. Come on, get up and over it. Right. Now I can restore the crane, and while I'm here, I'm going to turn off the, uh, sorry, turn off the controls because I don't care about them anymore. Pack my cargo. Terrific! I've now got a cabin that I can take with me wherever I want to go. The first place I want to go is just straight at that uh, lift loader. Right. Not really. Okay, 
so we're out of here, so that's good. But then, stopping, detaching, and I'm going to go for a little explore, because around here there's a couple of things of importance or note. There is <coughs> there is a maintenance trailer that I'm very keen to get my fingers on because that has some repair points that I can then use to fix up the Kodiak. It also has some fuel in it, which is rather important. I can use that to refuel the, the White Western Star. And then the other thing over here is the gateway to Salmon Peak, Big Salmon Peak, like the other map anyway. And uh, not that I'm going to go through there just yet, but eventually that's how we'll get to the other map. So already you can see in four days we've We've done a fair bit of, I'll show you the map shortly, um, but we've done a fair bit of scouting and we've done quite a number of the tasks that are available for a scout. Plus, we've, I'm pretty sure we've now built all the bridges. Uh, so the, the whole, oh, we've still got to, um, still got to open up the rock slide that we saw on the train line earlier on. Right, so there's our maintenance trailer. And there's the gateway, so I'll, I'll just run to the gateway first, because I can. So there's the gateway, not going to go through, but at least I found it. And it's open and, and available to us, so we can go through that whenever we're ready. <coughs> and... Now I'm just going to grab this guy. Yeah, it's not that muddy. I thought it was more muddy than it was, so I was going to just winch it straight out. But too muddy so we'll attach it. Now this guy has oops beacons. <laughs> um, this guy's got 2,000 litres of fuel and 350 um, 350 repair points. So he's pretty useful. It has as much fuel as a uh, as a normal uh, fuel trailer. I thought I had less than that. That's good. I'm happy. The more fuel, the better. So we're going to take this back with us, back to the railway station. Use it to fix the Kodiak. It's a bit scary. Over here, <coughs> just up to the right side, up this way, there's a another warehouse that has some more useful things. <laughs> if I 
find our way out of the mud. So we will be using that warehouse uh, later on. Unfortunately, I think most of its most of its uh, items are limited. There's very few things where we have unlimited. But that's all right. could go along that way um, to get back to the, the railway station um, but this way is probably a fraction easier I'm just got to work out how I'm going to winch it in there but we'll detach there first of all we'll refuel then we'll detach uh, then we might go that way Got to get the big trailer first. Angles, angles, angles. Don't get anywhere silly. dragging along behind the other trail but let's get into there because we're going to go this side of the pole knock down a tree or two as you do and hopefully will work out okay. So that's pretty safe. How's this end looking? Hoo -hoo. A bit scary, wasn't it? I kind of thought it would have pulled the trailer. Clearly the trailer is either wedged there. Come on. Oh, really? like we might be um, slightly caught. It's just not going to do it, is it? is not moving. Truck does not want... Ah, oh, I see why. All right, see, we've got ourselves... <laughs> got ourselves nicely caught. Now oh, this is going to be a bit painful. This might even become 
very painful. Maybe stuck here. May not. See. Don't like it. Try and see if we just force ourselves over. Sometimes you can do sneaky things with the winch, uh, with the ch uh, with the crane. So what I'm trying to do is get angle on the truck to get that on, out of the way. Leg over the front, looks like it might be. Oh, it's so close. Ready? Oh. You can't do two things at once. I'm just trying to get my rear around. I'm not sure why I can't now, to be honest, because it looks like I should be able to. This is this is where the train line is is tricky, particularly for something like the uh, like Western Star. Right. Just going to be a bit more violent. I'm trying to get this trailer out of the way now. A little tree. Normally they're big trees. something caught at the front like the um, yeah we've done a really really good job <sighs> so I'm trying to get the trailer away from the truck that would help right, I'm not going to be able to go backwards because that uh, fuel tank's definitely going to stop me get out from underneath my own trailer, that would help. And now I can. The trailer's going to squish me down. I don't think I can pull my front around enough. Am I sort of putting it around to, you know, that one. Didn't it? But no. 
sometimes you think it's done the right thing but it actually hasn't helped you at all. Let's see if we can move the rear. I think what we're going to do is go back to where we were. Yeah, I think we just... Oh, maybe not. Oh my goodness, there we go. Finally. Right. So we'll get our trailer back. happened because we didn't get him around the pole to start with. But we've got him around the pole now. So now we can continue. We're yeah, probably going to crash into this tree now, aren't we? Get back in the same hole we were in before, shall we? I'd be surprised if that maintenance trailer will catch that tree, though. Yeah, we're really having trouble with this, so forget that. We're going to do this in two part trips. I need to get past this worst part. relatively flat ground. Detach the trailer. Come up and over at a bit of an angle so we don't get ourselves caught like we did last time. Interesting. Spot that upgrade just there. Get it. Get the upgrade. Get it, I tell you. So that's a Laz 6 TA4240 for the step and the Acteon. Eh, honestly, don't think I care. However, we've got it. Right, so now I'm going to go back and get the maintenance trailer and bring that along a bit. hope that once we get it along to here that we won't have any more of those nasty trees and things trying to jump out and get us. Away from the tree, please. Yeah, that's the way. It wasn't that hard, was it? I'm not even going to connect it up, actually. I can just pull it along.
closer than me. at least for the minute. It'll probably fall over again though. And it does. Because it's just like that. So we might just drag it. Because I just don't care. wheels again. So I'm going to just follow the side of the train track this time. I'm not going to try and do anything super clever. don't think it's on its wheels. Nearly is. It's kind of close to being on its wheels. It's trying to help. It's right on the edge of that. What this thing can pull. Alright, again, we'll give up. Come back and get it. us our cargo crafting little dude. One cabin. There we go, cargo crafting. Yay. Definitely. Didn't quite mean to go that far. trailer to go back to the loading area. That's better. Yeah, so we can load up some stuff into that later. Meanwhile, go back and get our poor old maintenance trailer. It's probably a little bit worse for wear. That's in the in the manual on how to how to save vehicles. All right. Now we've got our service trailer. So happily, this gives us both fuel and repair points that we can use. fuel and repair the Kodiak. Don't 
don't know the best spot to put it. So let's just bring it around here near him. We're going to repair the Kodiak. All repaired. And then we're going to refuel the Kodiak. Done. So there's Lost on Route. And we now have a Kodiak as well. Take this truck, I don't need it anymore. I'll make another one. Yeah, good on you. Uh, so we'll detach the trailer there. Go back and find our own trailer. to load but I'm not actually going to load anything just yet because I'm not too sure exactly what I'm going to do so I'm just going to bring myself back here in fact I can just turn the engine off but we can hop in the little Kodiak that's now been fixed Unfortunately, as is always the case, this poor old Kodiak is on uh, highway tyres. So it's not exactly going to be a treat to drive. So we'll stop that there. But he's at least ready to assist anyone else with maintenance. And speaking of which, I'm going to come back to the Ford, take him back to the garage and repurchase the utility tray, or whatever it's called, to get some more uh, spare parts so I can fix that little scout. This is a bit of a pain. I'll also be able to refuel him from the Kodiak while we're there. going this way but you can if you're careful get up onto these rocks oh you'll just have a wall drive on around that tree oh, onto the rocks again that way we avoid having to go through that although it is slightly less muddy that muddy way so that's pretty easy for a scout to do uh, obviously a truck when it's got a load on would not be able to do that. So we can at least do that one. But unfortunately this one there's no similar easy shortcut. I'm gonna cut this edge off. Actually I might I'm pretty sure you can't come this way. Pretty sure you can't. I mean look at that. Trees, nasty, all horrible, bleg. So Unfortunately for this one, you just have to grin and bear it. So 
certainly no shortage of wheels. <laughs> Spare wheels on the Ford. Yes, there is no um, service hub here where you can replace spare parts on this map. There is one on the Big Salmon Peak, but it's quite a, a hike to get to it from here, and there's a few broken things in the way, so not a realistic uh, alternative. However, and run back up to the garage and then come back and sort out our little scout and find that last watchtower. they put mud or something there just to throw the angles out so just when you think you've got the right angle no you don't that's all right so here's the place where we dropped off the little don 71 for the lonely island task Some bitumen. Yay! That's the load star that we'll be delivering later on. I can't do that just yet. So I'm just gonna put my nose here stop my engine and just check my repairs so the utility mount yeah it's got two wheels in it well can't do anything about that um, yep so the utility mount is empty and the fuel the utility mount is empty great so I'm gonna pop into the garage And I'm going to uninstall the utility mount, which says, after replacing all fuel and repair points in, the add-on will be lost. Yes, exactly. Fine. Then I'm going to put it back on again. That's right. Can't do that, though, because <laughs> that doesn't give me anything. Uh, I have to sell it. So we'll sell the utility mount, which gets us $700. And then I'll buy it back. So I have to pay $700, really, because I sold it and bought it. However, I just have to. That's what I have to do. So I've paid $700, but now, in my repair points, the utility mount has 100 points in it. So I've paid $700 for 100 repair points. That's uh, $7 a point, which is a lot because I think normally they're about four. Still, it is what it is. All right, so we're gonna refuel from the fuel tank to the Chev and the Ford, but that's all we can refuel directly. So then we have to hop back to the Chev, sorry, back to the Ford, and we can refuel the pickup bed from the Kodiak. But we haven't got enough now to fill that one, so let's go back. <laughs> so you just got to keep hopping back and forth between the trucks. Because you can't refuel a um, add-on from an add-on, if you know what I mean. So you see here when I'm clicking through, I can't see the, share, the, fuel, the Ford's uh, fuel tank 
etc. So you have to you have to do the multi-step, which is just a bit slower, but you know it works. So then from the chev to the utility nut. All right. So we've effectively filled everything up from the from the tanker. Okay. Radio. So we're not doing abandoned truck though. That's not the task I want to do. The task I want to do is camping gone wrong. All right. So we're going to head back down. <coughs> across the river again like we did the first time. Not sure why I came out that way. It just seemed like it was more fun. literally going to repeat what we did earlier but now we have our, our utility with all the spare parts that it's going to need it's got a hundred spare parts and we only need 40 or 50 let's go through our little sideway Don't even rock. <sighs> now I'm lost again, as I always am coming out of here. It's easy to get lost coming out of here, that all the roads look the same. I have to run just a little bit further, that's what it is. Yes, well, we certainly lost a lot of time fiddling about with the uh, with the White Western Star when we first got that maintenance trailer, trying to bring back the maintenance trailer. However, you know, we got there in the end. like it's starting to get closer to that 8 o'clock, the lights aren't, aren't so bright now. So we'll come back to the scout and then that'll be about it for today. Oh, we 
you are going to fall over there. Where am I going? Kind of looking for a road. There's a road. perfect timing. So camping gone wrong is the next thing we're going to do. I've now got enough spare parts that I can fix that guy up with a little bit extra so that'll be okay. So that'll do for now. I would have liked to have got that done but I think the amount of time we lost fiddling about with the Western Star sort of put paid to that. But we got there in the end. Not to mention my skill with manual unloading practice that was pretty awful. But hey, you know, you do what you do. So, I think next thing really is uh, we're going to try and finish off uh, finish off this one with the Ford, and then hop back into the uh, White Western Star, maybe or maybe not. We'll have a think. We'll have a bit of a think. Maybe back into the White Western Star for a bit more work. Anyhow, that'll be tomorrow. Hopefully you enjoyed today. A bit of fun, some challenges, but we made it without falling over, so that was good. And uh, hopefully you'll join me again tomorrow as I continue on my adventures. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>